Welcome to Blue Eddy Support. Learn how to install your Blue Eddy Charger One with this straightforward, step-by-step -step guide. In this video, we'll use a Ford Explorer as an example to guide you through installing the Blue Eddy Charger One in your car. Once you know how, you can do this to any car, SUV, or RV. Before diving into the installation, let's quickly plan how you'll set up your Blue Eddy Charger One. First thing first, Check if your power station is ready to work with the charger one. If you're using a third-party power station, there are two things you need to check. First, check the DC input voltage of the power station. We already know that the DC output voltage of the charger one is between 15 and 56 volts. Make sure this range fits your power station's DC input specs. Detailed input specifications for the power station can be found in its manual on the nameplate or near the DC input port. Next, look at the cables. Your power station needs to have a solar charging cable with a standard MC4 connector to hook up with the Charger 1's MC4 output cable. Now, think about where to put your Charger 1. Option 1. Option 2. Option 3. It's best to keep it close to your power station since the MC4 DC output cable isn't super long. Finally, consider how to secure the charger one. You can use screws or zip ties, whatever works best for you. Here's my plan, but feel free to come up with the installation setup that suits your needs. Then, gather everything you'll need for a smooth installation. Check your charger one package to ensure you have all the included components. Inside, you'll find you can also purchase the optional DC input cable from our website. It comes with a 60A breaker for added safety, preventing short circuits and overcurrent. Next, prepare the tools you'll need. As follow. A pair of gloves to protect your hands and prevent electric shock. A wrench for connecting battery terminals and a utility knife. Have a screwdriver ready if using self-tapping screws or use zip ties for mounting. Finally, Make sure you have your power station and solar charging cable ready. Here are some important safety and setup tips to keep in mind. Please read them carefully and follow them strictly when operating your Charger One. Let's start with the installation and setup of Charger One. We'll break it down into two easy parts. Connect the cables. Double check that the circuit breaker on the DC input cable is off. Choose a suitable spot to secure the charger one. Here are some requirements for the spot. We're placing it on the back of the rear seats. Then connect the input cables. The input ports are on the left side. Use the wrench to loosen the hex screws. Identify the connectors for the input cables. Connect the tube terminals to Charger 1's input ports. Attach the red cable to the positive input port and the black cable to the negative input port. Tighten the hex screws. Next, connect the MC4 output cable. The output ports are on the right side. Just like before, Use the wrench to loosen the hex screws. Identify the connectors on both ends of the MC4 output cable. Connect the tube terminals to Charger 1's output ports and tighten the hex screws. The input and output connections are now complete. Now, Take the remaining part of the input cable and guide it towards the driver's side. Locate the firewall entry point between the driver's side and the engine compartment. Carefully create space for the cable to pass through the firewall into the engine bay using your hands or tools. Route the OT terminals on the DC input cable through the firewall and connect to the car battery. At last, Use a wrench to connect the OT terminals to the battery terminals. 
Use the wrench to loosen the screws. Attach the red cable to the positive ports and tighten the screws. Just like before, and the black cable to the negative port. Now, the car battery is connected. It's time to power up and activate Charger 1. First, start your vehicle. Then, switch the circuit breaker on the input cable to the on position. As the input powers up, Charger 1 will activate. You'll notice the indicator flashing green rapidly. Once it successfully starts up, the green light will turn steady. You've completed most of the wiring. Now, just set up the app, connect to the power station, and you're ready to start charging. First, download the Blurdy app, register, and bind your Charger 1. For more details on app features like registering, binding, and monitoring, please check out the product series videos. After binding, you'll be directed to the operation status page. Before making any adjustments, ensure that charging is disabled in the app. Next, let's see the right charging voltage for your power station. Charger 1's default charging voltage is 27 volt. First, check your power station's manual, nameplate, or silk screen to see if 27 volt is within your power station's DC input range. If it's compatible, skip to the following to learn how to connect Charger 1 to your power station. If it's out of range or you need a higher setting, you'll need to adjust it. Tap Charging Voltage, scroll down, and select Custom. The adjustable voltage range varies depending on the car battery voltage, typically either 12 volt or 24 volt. For a 12 volt battery, you can tap here and set the voltage between 15 volt and 27 volt. For a 24 volt battery, the default charging voltage is 27 volt and you can't adjust it without enabling Pro Mode. To set a higher voltage, enable Pro Mode, read the disclaimer, and tap Accept to enter your desired voltage. Once you confirm the charging voltage is set correctly, connect the Charger 1 to your power station. First, connect the MC4 connectors on the output cable and solar charging cable. Then, plug the other end of the solar charging cable into the power station input port. Once you confirm everything is set correctly, enable charging to start the process. You can monitor the charging status in the app and on the power station's display. Want to make sure your Charger 1 stays safe and steady in your car? Especially on bumpy roads, it's a good idea to secure it properly. There are two common ways to secure it. For a more permanent solution, you can use the self-tapping screws from your standard kit to secure the four holes. Just use a screwdriver to tighten them like this. Or if you prefer something simpler, grab some zip ties to hold it in place. But if you're just borrowing Charger 1 from a friend for a quick camping trip and drive on smooth roads, you can skip securing it down. Now that you've got all the essentials for setting up Charger 1, you're all set for your fast charging adventure. For more tips and tricks, head over to our website or check out our video playlist. Happy charging and safe travels!